Hi, this is Pete, and in this video I want to show you how you can use a pretty interesting construction plane in Fusion 360 to help define certain positions along a path in the case of creating a loft for example. So I've just created a simple arc sketch, defined it, constrained it, and I'm going to finish the sketch and what we want to do is we want to be able to create lofted shapes along it. So I can create a couple different shapes pretty easily by creating a sketch say on the XY plane. So I'll go ahead and do that. Create my sketch here. I'll use a circle. Find that origin point and we'll say 1.5. So that's pretty easy but if I want to get points along this edge in order to control that and use those in the loft that's a little bit trickier but thankfully there's a really useful construction plane called plane along a path. So what you do is you find the path and then once we find that path now we have to determine how do we want to find the distance. So there's two ways that we can do this. We can do it proportionally or via distance. So if it's proportional think of it as 0 to 1. 1 being the very end of the line, 0 being the beginning. So if I was to say 0 0.35, I'm saying I want one of these planes to be 35 percent of the way on the path. Another way we could do this is we could pick the path again and we can actually give it a specific distance. So if I wanted to say I wanted that to be 4.25 inches along the path, now I could create that extra plane. And then last but not least if I wanted to do one at the very end I could pick on that same edge but this time I'd go with a proportion of one. And that puts it right at the very end. So that's pretty much it. Just a couple of quick simple ways to utilize the <clears throat> plane option there. I'll go ahead and add a couple of shapes I don't even really care the size, just want to get something in there. Let's see, we'll add, um, do another circle. And then last but not least, I'll go ahead and just apply a point at the end. So just different things that we can do to create a loft and then you can see the result of lofting those shapes all the way down. So we can play with that, do different types of stuff, <clears throat> and I'll even at the very end I'll make this a tangent just so you can kind of see something a little bit unique. And then as we go back and we edit the positions, maybe say second to last, if I double click on that one, and I give it a different rating, maybe proportionally of only 0.6, you can adjust what that shape ends up looking like. So again, just different things that we can do to experiment and work with the shapes to create more unique types of lofts. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, Please let me know and have a blessed day.